Hey guys and welcome to Janet being Janet. If you're new to my channel, I want to go ahead and take a moment to welcome you and let you read this fair use disclaimer. I found just, you know, wandering on the web, I actually found some assumptions that Katie Joy did a video to back in 2019 and I found it pretty interesting and pretty entertaining because some of the assumptions actually match up for today and it was really weird for me so I wanted to document it and just show y'all exactly what I found as you can see this was filmed on September 3rd of 2019 it was a live stream that she did she got more likes than dislikes on it so I guess she did pretty good there she got 15,000 views I don't know how many subscribers she had at the time of filming but I can tell you now she has a lot more. She gained another thousand somehow, but right before I did this video. I'm not for certain how come she gained that. We're just going to leave that one alone during this. But there will be a part two because I found another assumptions video after this one. But y'all go ahead and watch this and follow along with me because it's amazing how things that were said two years ago still are in play today. It really did amaze me. So y'all follow along, okay? I wanted to do something fun and answer some of your assumptions about me. There's a lot of comments some in these on my page that, you know, some are f funny. Some are, I don't know, mildly offensive. And then others are just downright mean. Oddly, I wasn't able to find all of the downright mean ones, but I got enough of a sample size. And since a lot of you like... Okay, Katie Joy. Now, whenever I saw anything that happened, you know, back when, or whenever I was doing my quote-unquote research on this, I was able to find plenty. So, it just seems like maybe you didn't do or look hard enough into uh, doing your research, quote unquote, because it was easy for me to find all kinds of bad things that were being said to you and mean, said, mean things said to you. So, maybe you needed to focus just a little bit more on the research that you were doing whenever you were trying to get assumptions about yourself. Just saying. Of doing my job writing and advocating and um i guess it'll be up to you whether or not you believe me but i am if anything not a liar and i definitely don't hold back um the absolute last thing i ever want to be known as is a liar fast forward to today and one of the main things that you are known as is a liar you uh, who are you actually advocating for? As far as being referred to as a liar, I think you did that all to yourself. You are to blame for that. I would rather be unpopular for my opinions than um, lie about anything. Katie Joy, obviously you were known as a liar way back when, two years ago, and it just so happens that it has continued through today. So guys, this is what I kind of find funny, is people were calling her a liar way back when, and it just is something that has just continued and continued and continued, and people are still going to be calling her a liar. I address one that I actually find really offensive, and that's that I'm a drug addict. Katie? Fast forward to today, and this is 2021, and people have been accusing you of actually snorting your Adderall. That's how people think that you take your Adderall, and I'm just, this is just an accusation, and it's uh, just alleged. Nothing that I am saying is 100% true that I know of. This is just what people have been, you know, discussing on Twitter and other places like that. So, guys, once again, these are all my opinions. I can't even tell you how far from the truth that is. Um, if you lived in my house and you um, knew the life that I lived and the home that I have, you would have no idea how in incompatible any form of addiction or any sort of partying would be with my life. 
Katie Joy, to be honest with you, I have never heard anything about you partying. I thought that you were always an inside person and you wanted to stay inside your home, get groceries delivered and things like that. So looking back two years ago, I still think that at that point you were an inside person. So I haven't heard anything about partying whatsoever at all. In fact, I can't get intoxicated at all because my son needs 24 hour a day, seven day a week care with his medications, with his needs. And there have been times in the middle of the night that we have had to take him by ambulance to the hospital. So my, my husband and I, we don't use any drugs. Good job, Katie Joy. I really do want to say good job. I'm glad that you pay attention to your son's medical needs, and I'm glad that you put them first, if in fact you really do put them first, because we all know that kids come first. So I wanted to make sure that you, and to say that you did a good job, and your son is very important, and I'm glad that you get him medical care when he needs it, because medical care for your son should be something that you prioritize. Did I, at one point in my life, smoke pot? Yeah, I did. Have I tried a lot of drugs in my life? Mm-hmm, I have. Ever wonder what kind of drugs Katie Joy had tried? Just, just curious, because it might explain a lot. And, you know, when people are young, they go through their ex experimental stage. I mean, heck, even older people go through their experimental stage. But, you know, I just kind of wonder what kind of drugs is she talking about that she used? Because it might just explain a little bit of the reason why she acts the way that she acts. Not accusing, not anything, just going off of her words, 100% going off of her words. Before I wrote and did YouTube, I had a very successful career in sales, and I have never, <laughs> like, I've had to take drug screens for jobs. So guys, she was in sales. I wonder if that's what makes it so easy for her to sell so many things to her audience just like the different personalities that she has when she goes on her different social media platforms, you know, Twitter, Instagram, um, YouTube, they're all different personalities. And so you see a different side of her, in my opinion, in my opinion alone. So I wonder if her history in sales actually, you know, equates to that. I have to actually take drug tests for the medication that I'm on for my um, mental health. And that's another part, another reason why I can't do drugs is I am on medications for ADHD that are counterintuitive or counter or interactive with my Adderall. And yes, I take Adderall, but I only take Adderall as prescribed by my doctor. I want to say good job, Katie Joy. You're supposed to follow your doctor's orders. So that is a really good job and it's a very important thing to do. So keep it up. Make sure that when the doctor tells you not to do something, you don't do it because that is very, very important. I have never, ever in the entire two years I've been on this medication taken more than a recommended dose. I've never taken more than one. I've never given any Adderall to people. I don't do Adderall for fun. If you have ADHD, you will understand how much um, Adderall can change your life or uh, stimulants like these because it helps you focus and be able to have a, a life outside of anxiety and outside of paralyzing paranoia about getting things done. My son and I are actually on medication for mental health, so this is going to be something that I actually leave alone and I don't discuss anything about because if she's needing medication for her mental health, it's very important that she gets her medication and hopefully, you know, you use it correctly and you follow, like I said, the doctor's orders on exactly how to take it and what you do with it. That's the important part of it, but other than that, I'm going to leave this alone. Um, and as a part of my, um, treatment with doctors, I have to, um, have regular drug screens, which means if I test positive for anything that I'm not prescribed, I immediately have, can be taken off the medication that helps me have a productive life. So I take that very seriously. 
I'm glad that you take your medication seriously, but are you allowed to drink on it? I was told by my doctor there was no drinking whatsoever at all. But, you know, your doctor might have told you something different. I'm thin and maybe pick my hands or play with my ha hair, that doesn't mean I'm a drug addict. And I really actually find that comment offensive. I can't even tell you how far from the truth this is. <laughs> On sometimes on my night streams, I have a beer or I'll have a glass of wine. But literally, if, if you know me, if you know me, you know that I like never have more than one. Ever. I used to, but not, not for years. I just, it's not, it doesn't work. So people questioned your drinking back then and um, also, what do you mean that it doesn't work? What doesn't work? I'm kind of confused right now. So you might need to clear that up for me next time, Katie Joy. Just saying, yeah, two years ago, but you know, my just comments now. And my husband, for the record, is 100% sober. He actually gave up drinking a year and a half ago, not because he was an alcoholic, but because his entire family, are, he comes from a family of addicts. His mother before his, my husband's mother before she passed away had been sober for 12 years my husband's father has been sober for i believe 40 years we have active addicts and alcoholics in our family and because of that both of us are extremely cognizant of the example that we set for our son and for our child and it's also why i am a, a massive supporter of anyone that's battling addiction i'm empathetic to it and i understand it and this is a place where you can come and feel like you have a friend yay on the sobriety but um katie joy you're supposed to be a friend for people with addiction um, that one's a new one for me, honestly. I didn't know that you ever said that you were going to be a friend for anybody whenever it comes down to addiction or anything along those lines. I actually adore my son, and I don't want any more kids. <laughs> I don't want a girl. Um, in fact, when I was pregnant, um, my husband and I were talking and I said, I would rather have a little boy because I feel like if I had a little girl, I wouldn't even know what to do because I'm not super girly. Hey now, I understand her wanting a boy. I have two boys myself and let me tell you something. If I had a girl, it would just be a tom girl. So there would be no point in me having a, a baby girl in any means. So I was blessed with two amazing boys. So I understand that when it's coming down to Katie Joy having a son at least. And you know, like I said, I have a special needs son. She has one. So we have a little bit in common there. I bet you were used to be a big party girl. I was. I was a huge party girl when I was in my uh, 20s. 100%. I was the life of the party. Actually, no, I wasn't. I was not the life of the party. <laughs> I wanted to be the life of the party. I partied a lot. I just couldn't stay up. I was always falling asleep. I had a hard time staying up. And now Katie is up all hours, and I can tell you one thing, I certainly cannot keep up with her. That girl is constantly on something, doing something like on social media, on YouTube. She's constantly somewhere, it seems, and I just can't keep up with her whatsoever at all. Yule, we don't celebrate Christmas in our house, we celebrate Yule. I like um, hip-hop, I like um, R I like R&B. I like classic rock, like I love classic rock, um, and I'm not talking like 80s rock, I'm like, I love Led Zeppelin, Led Zeppelin and the Beatles are like my two favorite bands in the world, <laughs> Led Zeppelin hands down, like Robert Plant back in the 70s and his cute little like, his cute little pants with his little, his bell bottom pants, ooh, he was cute. Katie Joy. What about your husband's band? Shouldn't you be listening to them or listening, listing, there I go, not being able to talk, listing them as one of your favorite bands? Shouldn't he be one of your favorite singers? You know, he is your spouse, so wouldn't you mention him? Just, just a question. 
I assume you're going to quit writing and do YouTube as your main job at some point. You would assume correctly. I actually have been stepping away from writing more often than not. I just, it's very hard to make a living as a writer. And it's a lot more fun on this platform because I can interact with all of you and have a more one-on-one -on -one relationship. And I can still tell my stories and I don't have to worry so much about all of the editing that goes with it and all the promoting. Writing is a lot. Girl, now you just write a lot of social media. Honestly, it seems like Twitter is where you do most of your writing these days. Twitter is something that you cannot stay off of, but back then, maybe it wasn't the case. I wasn't following Katie Joy two years ago, so I'm not for certain exactly how she reacted to all the different things going on on Twitter and Instagram, and if she even had a real audience, full audience, on YouTube. I'm not for certain. I'm just putting in my thoughts that I have just covering her now. I assume you generally do some basic research when you talk about a new topic and you don't just spout baseless opinions off the top of your head. Yes. Girl, you were getting questioned about your stories even two years ago and exactly what you did with your stories and how you got them. So the questioning is still going on today. It is so funny to me actually watching this and replying to this and doing my commentary on it because so many things are true from back then and now. It, it's the same thing. It's kind of same people, or not the same people, but, you know, it's the same arguments that people have about her. It, it's kind of funny to me. It really, really is. Um, if, I do, if I do a new topic, it can sometimes take me days to read or understand something. I am of the opinion that I want to understand things before I speak about them. I don't like talking about things I don't know. I think you sound really dumb that way. I would disagree with people that mispronouncing words doesn't lends, makes me less credible. Mispronouncing a word or a name doesn't make you less credible. What makes you not credible is if you're saying things that don't match or are inaccurate to what you're talking about. But mispronouncing things happens all the time. That's not a credibility issue. That's just called a mistake. Katie Joy, what are you actually trying to say here? Honestly, what are you actually trying to say? Are you trying to say that you're credible and that all of your sources are credible? Uh, maybe back then, but now then, not so much. So, yeah, this really didn't age too well. Some of these things in here didn't age too well whenever it comes to you. Sorry. I think you got into a, lots of, into a lot of fights at high school. I actually didn't get into a lot of fights at high, in high school. I've never been in a fist fight at all. I'm not a violent person. Um, I got into arguments, but don't all girls? Probably. I was actually, um, I had a boyfriend. I actually had a boyfriend in my ninth and 10th grade year, and then I had a boyfriend in my 11th and 12th grade year, two separate boyfriends. And I was an introvert. And so I spent most of my time with my boyfriends or like with like a couple girlfriends. I didn't have a huge group of friends. I had like, there was three of four, there was five total of us that hung out a lot. Um, and then I had one really close friend. Her name was Jessica. We're not friends anymore. Sadly, we kind of like separated, um, in college. I loved her though. She was like my closest friend ever. And um, since then, I'm just not really a fighter. I will tell you how I feel, but I've never been into a fist fight. Guys, maybe this explains why Katie Joy doesn't have any friends. She has stated so many times that she doesn't have friends. She really doesn't have anybody that she goes out with or does anything with because she stays at home all the time. So maybe this is just a little bit of an insight on, you know, why she doesn't have any friends to talk to and why she has to keep bringing it up. And she was bringing it up back then and she still brings it up today that she does not have any friends. So it's something to look at and compare two years ago to today. Like I said, this was very interesting for me. Um, this is debatable. Like I can change a diaper really well and I can give some loves and 
um, I don't know. Am I good with them? Yes. Do I enjoy spending time with them? Maybe. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Kids are not my favorite. I mean, I like kids, but they're not my favorite. Um, I only have one kid for a reason. Guys, I didn't even think that she wanted kids. How could you not want to be around a precious little baby? They're so cuddly and so cute and they don't cause any problems. So why does she not like babies? Why is it that that's something that just isn't in her? She has a child. She has a child that she, you know, had to raise from being a baby. So does she not like him being a baby? It, does she not enjoy those years? That's my question because I enjoyed the years of being able to hold my babies and, you know, just cradle them and rock them and do the normal kind of stuff. Katie Joy is just a different type of mom is what I've kind of noticed in my opinion, of course, but she's just a different kind of mom. That I get frustrated easily. I actually don't. <laughs> Um, I get flustered. Um, I will say I get flustered and flustered is different than frustrated. Um, yes, I start breaking in a lot whenever it comes into these videos that I do like this, especially this one, because I do not want her to copyright strike me whatsoever at all. And if y'all are still listening, y'all make sure to go down there and subscribe for me and y'all follow me along on this journey because like I said, you found my channel and it's not that easy to find to be honest with you. So y'all, I'm self-promoting just a little bit. Y'all go down there and subscribe to me and help me grow because you know, I have nothing better to do today. So I figured why not do this? But Let's just go ahead and get into my comment on this little section of what I had to listen to. And like I said, sorry, it's in so many different little sections, but I did not want her to copyright me whatsoever at all. That is not something that I wanted her to be able to do. I didn't want her to be able to strike my channel. None of that. So, mm, yeah, it, it's a thing with Katie Joy. It, it really, it really is. But girl... We see your Twitter. That that's that's just the thing. We see your Twitter. We know that that's where a lot of your frustration and all that goes. It it goes it goes in, on to Twitter. I get flustered because I have attention deficit disorder, and um, it's hard for me to pay attention to chat, especially at night, because around this time my medication wears off, and so. If I pay attention to chat, I can get easily dis derailed. And then sometimes I can also get very um, flustered if people ask me too many questions at once. And by flustered, I mean like it's hard for me to process and it's hard for me to make sense of what's going on. But I definitely um, not, I don't get frustrated. I don't yell very frequently. In fact, um, my husband is more frustrated in life than me. And oh yes, um, Barb, I am extremely protective of children. Um, and I care about children's well-being. Um, and you know what? I did coach and I really love adolescence. So, um, I have, I worked as a camp counselor and I love girls that are like between, and that sounds terrible, but I love working with like children and from about 12 to 14 years old. A lot of people. Hey guys, her son is getting to that age. So maybe he's getting to an age to where she can have fun with them and she can do a lot more with them since she prefers, you know, older children. Maybe, 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 you never know. That's what we're going to hope for and that's what we're just going to continue watching to see because, you know, even at the age he was at the time of this filming, you know, it's still fun. Kids are just fun. They're, they're a blast to have. So I don't know what Katie Joy's deal is, to be 100% honest with you whenever it comes to kiddos. But that's what I wanted to say. People hate that age, but I love that age. I think they're so eager and interested and have so many questions. And um, last year, I actually coached a team of girls from the age of 12 to actually 16, and I loved it. I just couldn't go back to coaching this year because my job got really busy. I assume you like to say it like it is and you really could care less what anyone thinks of you, period. And your life is your son and your husband. 
I am, I definitely say it like it is. Um, I'm getting better at not caring what people think. This most certainly did not work in her favor. She still very much cares what people think. She goes on to other people's channels, all the commentary channels on her, and she actually watches them, and she posts about them on Instagram and Twitter, and she gets into little beefs with people, so she absolutely cares what people think. Um, being on the right medication for my ADHD has definitely helped me with that a lot. Um, before I was on AD, before I was on, everything was treated properly for my ADHD. I worried a lot about what people thought. I always wanted to fit in. I constantly felt like, felt like I couldn't fit in. And then I moved into an area um, where I live now, where women are not very welcoming and very like Stepford wives. And I've been kicked out of like multiple groups because I say it like it is. Like, Guys, Katie wasn't even wanted back then. Doesn't that seem the exact same today? Whenever you look at any kind of social media she has, don't you see the people that dislike what she's doing, not sharing her post or anything like that? So if she wasn't wanted back then, it just continued along in today's time. Like I don't have tolerance for um, bad parenting. And if I see parents making choices like drinking, while their kids are like drinking all night and then having their kids one run wild, I'll say something because I just, I'm protective of kids. I don't like kids being taken advantage of. I don't like kids getting hurt. I'm kind of an advocate for kids. Katie, how have you shown that you're an advocate for kids? This is 100% just a question, but how have you shown that you're an advocate? Because I haven't seen anything happening to where you're actually speaking on behalf of kiddos and speaking up for them. So, it, like I said, completely and totally just a question. And I think a lot of times, like, parents don't like to hear that kind of stuff. And where I live, everyone drinks. And so, because I don't drink, I'm not popular and I'm not fun. I know a lot of people think that YouTube is not a job, but... Um, I promise you it takes a lot of time, effort, and energy to like run a channel and put out content and research and just like make sure that I'm on and excited for everyone. So yeah, I definitely don't have an office administration job, but I did work in an office for 16 years. Um, Inside Sources, I will say, has been over the years of writing, I've met a lot of people. Actually today someone said, you seem to know a lot of people and I really don't. I just am not afraid to ask. So. If I want to ask a question, like, I'll just go ask. And sometimes they people approach me. You heard it here. If there's something that Katie Joy wants to know about, she'll just ask them. That's what she'll do. She'll just ask them. She'll get in their DMs or she'll find a way to get to them. She'll just ask them and figure out exactly what she wants to know. And I guess that's why she calls herself a reporter or an investigator or um, a journalist or what all ever she calls herself. It's because she's willing to ask questions, um, I guess. Yeah, yeah y'all get that. that. That makes her all these different things that, you know, she wants to call herself. Mm. Yeah, okay. That I don't want more children. Victoria, you are correct. I assume that you have a whole lot more that you would like to say, but you have to bite your tongue. 100%. I, why do you have it in for the Chrisleys? <laughs> Um, I actually don't have it in for the Chrisleys, but I do don't, I don't like scammers. I don't like people that lie and I don't like people that steal. And I really don't like people that hide behind religion to like do bad things. And then they pretend like they're super faithful and it's fake and it's phony and it's just completely opposite of what they preach. And what I don't like about the Chrisleys is that if the indictment is to be believed, they've stolen millions of dollars from taxpayers. And that's not theft from just the government, that's theft from you and me. And I don't like that. Hey now, she's been going after the Chrisleys for years now. 
That's very interesting to me. I didn't know how far back she had been going after the Grizzlies or talking about the Grizzlies or doing her quote unquote research about the Grizzlies. I didn't know she had been doing it, you know, for a couple of years now. But like I said, this is a couple of years old. So obviously she's been in this game for a while. It says she seems to take glee in trashing people of faith in her videos. Mm, no. What I do is I like to point out the hypocrisy of faith and how um, a lot of people are very hypocritical. <laughs> Who watches this mentally ill crystal ball psycho? This woman child is so angry for some reason. Well, let's be honest. She's morbidly jealous. A bully who is angry because she isn't a beautiful, she isn't beautiful and famous, but she has a little YouTube channel. Um, hmm. I didn't know you could be morbidly jealous. That's not even two words that I would put together. <laughs> Come on, Katie Joy. That's your only comeback for honest, brutally honest comments. That's your only comeback. Honestly, I think you could do better. I, I really do. I think you could do better when somebody, you know, comes at you harshly or wants to get a, give you a strong opinion. I think you could do better when addressing them and answering them. You've been doing pretty good on answering other questions and other assumptions. So, yeah, you could have done a lot better on this, in my opinion. At all. Um, and this was on a Chrisley video, so I'm definitely not jealous of people that steal. And a bully would be someone that literally is doing things with like ill intentions and trying to harm someone and hurt someone. And that's definitely not my tactic, nor do I go after people or like attack them. Um, I'm not angry. I get, um, I get riled up, but I'm not an angry person at all. You could ask my husband. I'm probably the least angry person in this house. Katie. You just said that you're the least angry person in your house. But what about social media? Huh? What about social media? I mean, people are calling you out left and right during all of this. And you're giving them some you're giving good answers to. Others you're giving really brief answers to. So let, let's talk about social media. Let's look at that one. <laughs> you hate the Duggars and have a bias against Christianity. Okay, blanket training, marital rape, full submission of women, women don't get to go to college, Pearl, Michael Pearl's training of training up the child, courting, like if these are any things that you like, you should really evaluate yourself. And I have nothing against Christianity as a whole. I have a, I definitely have a bias against predatory churches and priest, preachers. So you do hate the Duggars, and that is the reason why you cover them. See, guys, this got really interesting to me. It really did. So sitting through this, doing this, I was like, there are so many clips I can use. There really are. But, you know, she's pretty much not saying it that she hates the Duggars, but it, it it's still there, you know, just, you know, my assumptions, just my opinion, it's still there that she just does not like the Duggars, so she pretty much hate watches the Duggars and does stories just for clicks and views, I'm guessing not for out of enjoyment, and what kind of, you know, YouTuber does that, don't, don't YouTubers want to have fun, I know I'm having fun, I am definitely a um, advocate and ad I'm a humanist and I think part of being a humanist is that when you see people that are other humans being treated um, unequally or unjustly, it's your responsibility to speak out for them, especially if they are vulnerable and if you have a platform to make those make your position known and to shed light and sort of bring awareness to something that 
you find harmful to other humans, I think you, I think I have to do that. It's not even that, um, it's not even that I want to do it. It's like, it's so deeply penetrated in my soul. So your excuse for saying some of the most awful things that you have said to people, you've called people the B word, your excuse for being able to do that to somebody is because you're a humanist. Is that what I'm gathering out of this? Is that what you're trying to say? You're allowed to say and call people whatever you want to because you're a humanist? Um, it's just not right. You really shouldn't be calling people names. I mean, you shouldn't. The same with the Duggars. Like, I have to speak out for those children because I'm outraged by it. Um, does sometimes that come off like snarky and rude and like crude? Maybe. But like at the same time, um, I I don't like people treated unfairly and I don't like people hurt or abused. And it's funny because I don't even have a lot of friends and I really don't even like a lot of people, but I have a very soft spot for people that are extremely vulnerable and that would be children, individuals with disabilities, um, any sort of population that has a target on their back, whether it's a minority or an ethnicity um, or a, um, ethnic background, like, or religious background, I will pretty much stand up for anyone. Um, but I will stand up against oppressive and harmful rhetoric. So Katie Joy, anytime that we hear you say bad things about people, we need to just go ahead and just refer back to this video and just let everybody know that you're just speaking up for people. That's what you're doing. You're not you're not trying to be mean whatsoever at all. You know, is what I'm trying or what I'm getting off of you. You're not trying to be mean. You're just trying to speak up for people and you're trying to do what's right. And yes, I'm being very sarcastic right now because that's not really the way, even seeing some of these comments from two years ago, that's not the way they thought about her either. To be honest, in my opinion, they didn't think of her that way. But the, Katie Joy, in my opinion, thinks very highly of herself. Very, very highly of herself. And if that makes me a bully, I don't know. Call me a bully. Yeah, Sandra, I had one glass of wine, and sometimes one glass of wine can give me a buzz. As a child, um, I was called bossy a lot, or I was called strong-willed or impossible because I had opinions, and I dared to um, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with boys in class about pretty much everything. Um, and I don't, I don't think, I think that idea that if a woman has an opinion, they're automatically strong-willed, I think that's toxic and I think it's degrading and I think it makes us as women have low self-esteem and become doubtful of our abilities. Katie Joy, I am strong-willed and I'm a very confident person when it comes to my abilities. I know what I can do and what I can't do. And, you know, I used to hang out with very few people whenever I was in school, too. But being strong-willed is not a bad thing whatsoever at all. And I will bravely and proudly wear that knowing that I... I put myself on YouTube. I mean, come on. You have to look at it that way. You have to look at it to where you've got to have thick skin. You really do. If you're on YouTube, you need thick skin. And Katie Joy, no offense, I don't think you have thick skin. My opinion. My favorite assumption, you guys. You're just so judgmental, Katie. Okay, first of all, I talk about people that put themselves out there in the world that ask basically to be judged. People judge me all the time. And... It, don't we judge? Isn't that what we do? I mean, I'm not telling you that what you're doing is wrong. I definitely point things out, but I think I try to take things from a logical and mature approach. I try not to call names. I don't know. Ooh, Katie Joy. You know, this one didn't really age too well whenever it comes to your channel because now you like the name calling. Now you get on here and you cuss and you do all kinds of things on Instagram and everybody watches you do all these crazy, crazy things. So certain things in this video did not age well whatsoever at all, y'all. 
I go off facts, absolutely. I am a Scorpio, but I don't believe in astrology. I think Todd and uh, Julie will absolutely be on American Greed. Like, do people not understand how commentary channels work? Do they not really understand that, like, my job is literally to find trending topics that you guys are interested in? Um, but I'm sorry I can't be more exciting to you guys, but I literally don't do drugs and I'm really not an alcoholic. Sorry to disappoint you. You're meeting me at a time in my life when I'm really, t like, super responsible.